well, thank you, Diane, for the uh, for the introduction. And um, it, it's it's great to see you know further uh, involvement as we grow the foundation and grow the community. Um, Axiomedics, uh, as some of you might know, is uh, a company that was uh, in essence spun out of the foundation to help facilitate what's happening in the community around ITB2 and Transmart and other key open source elements. And I'm happy to sort of give you an update. Uh, assuming I can click on that. There we go. So, okay, I, I, I'll, I'll project or I'll use the microphone. So uh, the, the key thing that we focused on in Axiomatics, our vision is an open source vision. We think that open source is the future of software. Uh, and we in particular think open source is the future of scientific software and, and in the, the science and uh, biomedical spaces. And from that perspective, we're focused on, on building out an open source ecosystem and a vision around that, including uh, the space around I2B2 and Transmart. Um, and then building uh, a sustainability around these kinds of platforms. One of the key challenges in open source, uh, as we know, is that we have a lot of projects that start up. They have a period of grant funding, and then often the grant funding ends, and we don't have good sustainability models. And what we're trying to do is build around some of these key platforms a community-driven sustainability model uh, around open source. And the thing that we want everyone to understand about our view of open source is that open source is, is a lot about a lot more than code. It's about community. And how do we bring people together around technology, around capabilities uh, to make things work? And it's about building an open source culture uh, overall. And I think what we see here in, in this group is, you know, I think we had a, a lot of um, scientists, we have engineers, we have physicians, uh, we have IT people, um, and it's about building community amongst our various members. So what we're focused on uh, is working within the community to help facilitate open uh, collaboration. And one of the key things uh, that we focus on is how do we incentivize collaboration? Uh, as we started Axiomatics, we first initially worked on developing uh, solutions using open source platforms and working with developers. And what we found is that when we're trying to implement a solution in this space, we need lots of different kinds of expertise around the table. Um, you don't just need someone who can write software, you need data scientists, you need engineers, you need DevOps people, you need statisticians, uh, you need uh, end users. And so one of the key challenges here is how we find the right incentives to incentivize uh, up and down the value chain. When we think of open source software, we're thinking about developers writing code, they're creating value. Uh, and then uh, we're using, as we're using that code, we're implementing solutions on that code we're realizing and capturing some of that value. And as we, as scientists and physicians, you know, make uh, analysis, publish results, uh, that impact patients' lives, we're actually realizing that key value. So what we're focused on is how can we make that value translation work more effectively in an ecosystem? So for us, um, as I said, we started out at Axiomedics focused on initial solutions. Um, how do we take and, and build solutions for end users and customers from that perspective? Um, but what we've realized is that we need to take uh, what we have as open source platforms, standardize those, make it into usable uh, commercial quality software, implement uh, support systems, et cetera. And what we've, we've start taken our model to being with Axiomedics today is what I would call an open source publi publishing house uh, for open source software. So we have a set of standards and rules that we work as editors working with open source foundations. And we take these platforms and build them into a supportable platform that we can offer to commercial customers and they can get the support that they need from engineers. And in doing so, we provide, we feed back to the foundations and back to the open source projects on a royalty basis on any subscribed products that come through that. And then plug it into our support platforms. If you go to support.axiomedics.com, you'll see our open support platforms. Um, and then uh, we engage the, the actual engineers involved in the software development and whatnot in the support platforms and they get a share of all the subscription revenues uh, split on a quarterly basis based on the support they provide to the community. It's a way for us to be able to take these platforms, make them commercially usable, commercially viable, and provide back to the community in ways that impact and incentivize people at multiple levels. But the third key part of, of an open source community is, is the world of experts. And one of the key challenges that we've had over the past year is finding those experts, developing relationships with those experts and working with them. And they're very distributed. They're in many different places. And uh, what we've done is formalize our relationship by developing what we call the Axiomedics Expert Network. So if you go on the back, you'll find a card like this. It has a little QR code on it. Um, 
but we have a, a basically a, a network of experts that we're recruiting uh, to really bring all the capabilities around developing software, implementing software, doing data analysis, delivering solutions uh, into a network where we can recruit those people for on a part-time or full-time basis for short-term projects, long-term projects, et cetera. So it's a, a freelance contractor network that allows us to bring people to bear very quickly with sometimes within days on a project to help solve a problem uh, and develop long-term relationships over time. Uh, on the partner side, there's also a card there for partners. Uh, if you have a need for an expert that's an ITB2 expert, a machine learning expert, a, a, a data scientist, um, we can reach into our network, find people with the skills and expertise you need, and set you up with them to work right away. But I think as, as Linus Torvald said, in, in open source communities, the more people you have involved, the better it gets. And our goal is to build the network of people involved in ITB2 and Transmart in open source software in the biomedical space, build out a network of critical mass, both on the, the side of the experts and on the side of people being able to implement those because they can find the people they need for that implementation and make things work. So just a little bit about the Axiomedics Expert Network. Um, for experts, you have an expertise, a capability that's, that's uh, um, important in this space. We'd like to hear from you. We'll talk with you, work with you, um, and then we have a series of opportunities we can match you up with um, in terms of, of freelance work, 10 hours or less a week, part-time work, 20 hours or so a week, or full-time, uh, and we can match you up. On the partner side, if you need an expert in this space, uh, we have a database of experts. It's building, it's growing. Uh, we have a history of, of who they've worked with, what projects they've worked with, how effective that work has been, and we can match you up with an expert to meet your needs very quickly. Um, I just want to point out one quick uh, use case, which you'll hear about tomorrow. Uh, but we've uh, one of the groups we've been working with in open innovation is the Open Source Pharma Foundation, developing new ways, new open source methods for, for doing drug discovery. There's a poster on a, an implementation of Transmart for neglected diseases in the back. Uh, so feel free to, to talk to the team about that. And from the perspective of just finishing up, um, what we're really trying to do with, with, with Axiomedics is find new ways to make open source an effective approach in science and medicine. We're not developing the next Red Hat Linux here. Um, you know, ITB2 is not going to be used by tens of millions of end users. So we need models that are going to work for implementing these kinds of platforms in spaces where they can make a real difference and a real impact. And we think that the Axiomatics Expert Network is one way of making that happen. Thank you.